Hello. This is the second video in my Anchor Store short series, um, and this one is going to be about uploading tracking information. So I used to look at the emails that got sent out after you order something, right? You know, you order something, and then you get an email that's like, hey, we got your order. And then later you get an email that's like, hey, we got your tracking number. So and then I just take that tracking number and then I'd paste that into the thing on eBay. Um, but now that I have, I'm getting like 10, 10 sales a day, it's not, it's it's harder to do it that way. Um, just because it's really time consuming. So now what I do is I actually look at my Walmart order history and I upload stuff from here because um, the lists are usually the same and they kind of match. Um, and it's just it's easier for me that way. This also means I get my tracking information faster because there's actually a delay from when Walmart knows what the tracking number is and when they tell you. They update their website and then a period of hours later, sometimes days, you get um, an email. So this way you'll be able to upload things. Um, get You'll just get the tracking number faster. There's two things to know when you're looking at Walmart. Um, this video is all about Walmart, by the way. Like I use Walmart exclusively as a source. So there you go. You know that now. I didn't say that earlier. It's relevant info, definitely. Should have mentioned it earlier. Okay. In Walmart, there's two ways to look at your order history. There's this recent orders page, and then there's also, um, if you click see all previous orders, it takes you here to this. And depending on what you're trying to do, one of these will be more or less useful. The cool thing about this page is that you can go to like offset up here, and then do like 250 if you know the order was a while ago, and then you'll be right there. Whereas with this one, um, that doesn't work. So it, like, you have to click over and over and over again to get to the further away orders. You know, it sometimes isn't horrible, but. And typically, what I would do with this one is this is the one I actually look at to track my items, because normally it's the most recent orders, obviously, <laughs> that need the uh, um, tracking information. Not the most recent, but the ones that were ordered yesterday. Most most items get the tracking information the next day with Walmart, which is really awesome. But the advantage here is that you can right-click in a new tab, and then just go here, and then just copy this before the page even loads. Um, and then it's straight text. Sometimes if you copy things out of an email, you get errors when you try and upload the tracking information to eBay. Um, so that's that. That's how to use that. Okay, now, how would we do this? We would have two tabs. Well, I would usually, I, I usually only use, I use two monitors. Uh, so I have to do this a little bit differently than I normally would. So you guys can see it. Um, oh no, I'm doing this all wrong. Also doing that wrong. I have a link here. All orders. Okay. Bum, ba, bum, ba, bum, ba, bum, ba, bum, ba, bum, ba, bum. How am I doing that time? Oh, I have two minutes. Okay, okay, here we go, here we go. We will go to our awaiting shipment. Awaiting shipment, hooray! Okay, so obviously these top ones, these are orders that I, like, just placed. So obviously I don't have shipping for them yet. Um, but as we scroll down, you know, we'll get to the ones that do need uh, shipping. And it's usually going to be in the same order. So here, as long as you're doing, you're, you're, placing them in the same order, it's to your advantage. Because now we can see we have this, and then here, and then chocolate, chocolate, totes, two totes, miracle Grow thing. That's, yeah, see that the order is different there? Because these were items that I ordered because of like mess ups in previous things. So, oh, actually that's also shipped, and you can see that it's not here because I clicked on the uh, all orders awaiting shipment. But I would just go through this, and then Make sure that it matches, and then it's nice because you can work on one page. Cause you just do the thing, and then you take the shipping thing. Boop. Yeah, I, didn't, I don't have it big enough right now. Like I said, I usually work on uh, one, two monitors. So you have that. And I think that's everything. Um, oh, there's another trick. Here's a trick. Let's see. This is useful. Um, sometimes your items get stuck in processing as Walmart customer service likes to call it and I don't I really don't like talking on the phone with the customer service because it just takes forever um, and most of the stuff that most issues you can deal with yourself so sometimes it's been like a week your item hasn't shipped it says that it's arriving January 16th through 17th it's like January fucking 23rd man and you don't have any information about it um, 
what you should do is click on it and then request to cancel it. So, where's an example of that? I have an example somewhere. Here we go. So I could just go here. And then I would try and cancel this order um, because it hasn't shipped yet. So if, if they made a mistake on it and it's stuck in processing or they're out of stock or something and they haven't addressed that with you yet, it'll get canceled almost immediately. But if it is actually going to ship out, it's going to ship out and you want your, they'll send you a notification saying, hey, you wanted to cancel this, but we didn't do it. So either way, from that point on, um, you'll get a notification telling you how to respond, and it'll either be in your favor or it won't. That wasn't very clear. I'm sorry about that. I'm babbling. I'm just trying to get five videos out right now, and this is what you get. All right, where's the fucking shit?